Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol RDGL. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time frame and has a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to say it the obvious, but I will anyways. Very nice movement today, not only from a price action perspective, but you look down here at the volume, and by far the biggest volume this chart has had for quite a while. So a lot of eyeballs on this one, so let's map out some levels of support, and then we can talk areas of resistance. The first level of support is what I would call the ideal level. I mean, if you say, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? That would be if the price can stay up here above this level right there at 008. Now, don't get me wrong, if the price falls below 008, I'm not saying the entire chart's ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price can somehow manage to stay up above that level, that would certainly be a huge sign of power going forward. Next level of support in the event that 008 area cannot hold would be down here at this uh, previous consolidation and breakout area at 0065. So 008, 0065, two of the near term levels of support. Taking a step back and looking at things from more so the big picture point of view, that's where the purple line here comes into play, the famous 50 period simple moving average, keyword being moving. As time goes by, this line here is going to move itself higher and higher. So a very basic yet highly effective way to judge the health of the move, this right here being defined as quote unquote the move, just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. How are you gonna best visualize that? No questions asked. Again, sure, staying above 008, that would be great. However, grand scheme of things viewpoint, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. What about levels of resistance? Pretty straightforward right now, just simply where did the party stop today? And that's right up there at 0096, so 0096, public enemy number one going into tomorrow. All in all though, resistance levels in my opinion don't really matter that much. Why do I say that? What matters the most are these lows, or if you wanna picture these as stair steps. As long as these stair steps and lows continue to get higher and higher, everything else takes care of itself. So focus on healthy consolidations and building higher lows, and then you can just sit back and let the overall trend do its thing. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.